welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel from Reach Elizabeth Artist and today's video is going to be about how I create fur by layering my pencils. For this piece I'm using mostly Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. I love this brand of pencils especially for pet portraits, um, especially this kind of color that like wheaty brownish color. They just have the most perfect range um, that combine together to give a gorgeous and really realistic effect. So I'm using mostly the Caran d'Ache and a couple of the Faber-Castell pencils. A lot of these are my go-to pencils. I have another video that you can check out right here that goes into um, my top 10 pencils and why I why I choose them over other ones. I do use a lot of other pencils, but these ones are my go-to and I use them in pretty much all of my pet portraits. So when it comes to layering my pencils, the first step is I will look at the reference photo and I will pick the colors that I see in the piece. And I tend to use the lightest color to map out the fur. So I will map out the direction of the fur. I will map out where the darker areas are just to give me a bit of a reference before I start to layer the other colors on top. So what you don't want to do is use the lightest colors or your base layer and just kind of color in the area like you would with a coloring book. You want to um, replicate the kind of the technique and the um, texture of the fur. So I will do um, pencil strokes that match the length of the fur. So if you've got longish kind of fur, like you can see in this one around his chest, then you want to do longer pencil strokes. If you have shorter fur, then you want to do little short pencil strokes. Strokes. Once I have my initial layer down and I can see the direction that the fur is going and the darker areas and um, the length of the fur, then I'm going to start the layering process. So to layer your pencils, it's really super simple. You just bring in your other colors and do the exact same thing as your base layer. So you will use the same pencil technique, the same pencil stroke, the same um, direction, the same length of the fur, and you don't want to color it in. You just want to you you just want to replicate what you did with the first layer and just keep it going with those different colors. So the reason that I'm saying don't just color it in and then like add another layer over the top and another layer over the top is the, the colors will kind of get all muddled together, but not in a good way. So if you layer your pencils like this using the fur, um, the fur strokes um, and that pencil technique, what will start to happen is by the end of it, you will get this gorgeous spectrum of all of these colors coming through in the fur from all the earlier layers that you laid down. And because you are replicating the technique and replicating that fur texture, that is what will get the fur to look realistic and allow all those colors to come through. So you want to lay down, I've laid down a good I'd say three or four layers of the light colors. And then that's when I start to bring in the darker areas. Um, and this is really important. You wanna make sure that you get that contrast of your lights and darks and getting those like the shadowed areas in because that's, when it, that's what's gonna give your drawing depth. Another thing you wanna be aware of is when you're bringing in those darker colors to create the, um, the shadows or just the darker hair, don't go in with a color that is too dark too quick because then it's the contrast is gonna be a little off and then you can't lighten it if it's, you can lighten it, but it makes it a little more difficult um, if it's too dark. So I build it up gradually. As you can see here, I have quite a few, I have quite a range of colors that are gradually getting darker and I won't go in straight away with the really dark colors. I will gradually, gradually build it up and that is gonna help me get to the right um, contrast and the right values, which essentially just essentially just means your lights versus dark. Um, that will help me get the right contrast without going overboard. What I also like to do is once I've created a good few layers, I will bring in the color that I used as the base layer or one of the earlier colors, and I will go over the top of some of the darker air, the darker colors. The reason that I do this is it blends everything together beautifully. So this is the difference between layering and blending. 
say layering, it just means that I'm adding color, adding colors on top of the previous colors. When I say blending, it means that I'm either using um, a light colored pencil or a colorless blender to smooth out those, um, smooth out those layers. So ultimately it's these, it's these few things. It's the layering process, it's the blending, and it's the building up your depth and your shadows that is going to help you get that really nice, um, realistic, fluffy, soft kind of fur effect. Okay, so I hope all these little tips and tricks um, are helpful. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos around art tips and tricks or some more videos that go a bit more in depth in terms of building a brand as an artist. Um, if you prefer, you can also